It is downright awful out there for those wannabe first time home buyers. Let's look at this triple headed monster of higher prices, higher mortgage rates, and don't forget still stringent lending requirements. It's made affordability really awful. And wait until I show you what this has done to the home ownership rate in America. And I'll tell you where I believe it's going to go next. Hi, I'm Keith Weinhold, Get Rich Education founder, Forbes Real Estate Council member, and 20 year real estate investor. I also host the weekly Get Rich Education podcast, which is different from this show. That way you can listen to me on the go on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or just grab the Get Rich Education mobile app. In a lot of markets, a starter home is $400,000. With your 20% down payment plus closing costs, that's $100,000 out of pocket right up front, as well as your ongoing monthly payment. Well, this low affordability, that moves people out out of the home buyer pool and it places them in to the renter pool which keeps expanding oh well there's our opportunity as landlords but curiously the home ownership rate is actually higher than usual so let's take a look at this and then i'll break down what it means as well as where we're headed the blue line is the american home ownership rate from 1965 to today thanks to john burns research and consulting and just rounding to the nearest whole number the average home ownership rate since 1965 is 65 percent and currently it's at 66 percent running a little high it peaked at 69% back in 2004. That's back when you could outright lie. Just document lies on your mortgage application, lies about your income, your job, your assets, and still get a mortgage, and many people did, Ninja Loans. And by the way, when you hear the acronym Ninja Loans, what that stands for is no income, job, or assets. Well, you either rent your home or own your home, it's one or the other. So then today's 66% home ownership rate, that means that everyone else, 34%, are basically rent. Renters, and actually you've got four options in how you can live. You can own, rent, live with your parents, or live under a bridge. There actually are a few options, but seriously though, every 1% drop in the home ownership rate, that means that there are about a million new renter households. Following 2016's low point, how in the heck is home ownership above average today in the face of this awful affordability? Well, the first reason is that our aging population skews figures. Homeowners tend to be older. Secondly, it's affordable payments for incumbents, people that already have their home. Yeah, 80% of borrowers have a mortgage rate under 5% and they're really happy to stay put because their mortgage rate begins with a four or less. And this introduces a lag effect in the stats. It'll be a little while until this affordability gets reflected in a lower home ownership rate. And then thirdly, there's a low foreclosure rate. Americans are flushed with both cash and equity. That means they can afford their payments and that they have the motivation to keep making them. And here on this map, you can see the home ownership rate by state. And what's the trend here? Well, looking around, home ownership is highest in low cost states like the Midwest and South, and it's lower in high cost states. West Virginia has the highest rate at 78%. New York has the lowest home ownership rate at 54%. Well, in the future, I expect a national drop in the home ownership rate. And that's because poor affordability is gonna continue. Few expect property prices or mortgage rates to fall significantly. Lending requirements should stay strict and awful affordability is gonna keep taking that home ownership rate lower. Student loan debt repayments, they're also going to make it tougher for people and that's why I expect the home ownership rate to plummet below the long-term average of 65% by 2025. That's where we're headed. See, millennials, they're the largest generation in American history at more than 70 million people. They're larger than the baby boomer generation and millennials are right at prime household formation time as well. That's why the time is now. Is that household that's newly formed, is that going to be formed as an owner occupied residence or as a rental? Increasingly, it's going to be a rental because of that continued poor affordability. And see, if millennials and Gen Zers 
if they didn't get their ultra low rate mortgage the past couple years, well then it's too late. That era is over and that's why their affordability ship has sailed. It is gone and that's why more renters are being made every single day. So if you're a landlord, this is expected to both increase your occupancy rate and the amount of rent that you can charge. Carefully chosen rental property, that's really where today's opportunity is. And in fact, the way that we help you here at GRE is with completely free investment coaching. If you think you're ready to add income property to your portfolio, our coaches, Naresh or Andrea, they really want to get to know you to help you learn your goals somewhat. And no one truly knows the future, but in any economy, you're gonna be better off with an income stream added to your life. Now, it's great that both coaches have their MBAs, but see, more importantly, they're active real estate investors themselves. They own properties in the same markets that we recommend, and they like helping along viewers like you in building your cash flowing real estate portfolio. They help you find off market deals nationwide that make the best long term buy and hold income properties that an experienced manager manages for you if you so choose. That's the way I choose to do it, and I do all my buying in the Midwest and South. Your coach can also help you write your purchase offer if you would like that. Submit earnest money, navigate your property inspection, interpret your appraisal, check your management agreement, that agreement between you and your property manager. I mean, that is what makes this relatively passive for you after all. And the coach just ensures a smooth closing day for you. And your investment coach can do more than this or if you prefer, they can do less than this. GRE Marketplace is where the coaches source the properties, and it's more like an organic farmer's market than a big box store. Property offerings change frequently, just like fresh produce changes frequently. And because there are limited slots available to talk with our coaches through the phone or Zoom, it helps if you've got your down payment and you're ready to go. I mean, if it were any easier, the coach would even make your down payment for you. <laughs> They're not quite doing that, but this really ought to help you. And I think I mentioned that it's completely free. So to get started, choose your coach and book a time. I think you'll find it really valuable. You can start at gremarketplace.com slash coach. I'm Keith Weinhold. I'll see you next time.